my house. Here, let me show you this. Okay, so I, I showed you this graphic last night. Cynthia, I know you weren't paying attention, so I'm going to show it to you again. So this is, my, uh, this is the uh, official El Nino forecast. So right now, we're in a strong El Nino. You see we're above that red line. But as we head uh, through the spring, over the next several months, we're trending away and out of an El Nino, and we're trending into an Enso neutral. That's where we will be by uh, May, okay? So as we're trending out of an El Nino, and at a minimum we'll be in a weak El Nino as we head into spring, let me show you just exactly what that means. Now, I'm not stuck in a tornado right now, but you think tornado season, right? And you should think tornado season because that's what the spring unfolds here in North Texas is tornado season for us. So let me walk you through some of these numbers. So when you're in a weak El Nino, okay, a, a typical weak El Nino spring for us here in North Texas, when you think of hail, severe weather, first of all, is defined as tornadoes, number one, uh, large hail and damaging wind. So when you think of severe weather and you think of large hail, during a, a, a typical El Nino spring, you know, look at this, the, the uh, potential decreases. That doesn't mean we're not going to have large hail, but the potential for that starts to go down. Then when you look at the tornado frequency during this type of an El Nino spring that we're trending toward, the tornado frequency decreases. That doesn't mean we're not going to have any tornadoes. It just means that the frequency decreases. So when I went back and looked up at tornadoes over the last uh, the last 40 years since uh, 43 years since 1980 and I looked at the recent springs with a weakening El Nino, these are the numbers I came up with. In 2019 we had 25 tornadoes in 2016 again a weakening El Nino, we had 18 tornadoes and in 1998 we had 5 tornadoes, okay? What's the average since 1980 in the last 43 uh, years, the average during a, uh, a weakening El Nino, or the average force in North Texas, is 18. So, you know, we're still going to have tornadoes, but at least the averages start to drop for us as we head. And there's always exceptions, but at least the averages start to go down, as opposed to the crazy Marches and Aprils and Mays that we've had during non-El Nino years. So, at least maybe we have that to hang our hat on as we head through the next couple of months.